This tutorial will show you how to install and set up the Beam Soundly Interactive app. This application will allow you to create a soundboard with up to 16 sounds that your audience can interact with on your Beam stream. First, you need to download the Soundly Interactive app. The link you need is in the description below. If you're using two-factor authentication on your Beam profile, then you will need to download version 0.5.3 or newer. If you're not using two-factor authentication, then you should enable two-factor authentication on your Beam profile and download version 0.5.3 or later because you're not a moron. After it is done downloading, head to the Profile tab and create a new profile for your board. Name it whatever you want and make sure it is selected. Then head over to the Soundboard tab, which is where you will add all of your sound files. To add a sound, click the load button and then find the file on your computer. Then click the text above the sound and label it. This will help you recognize the sound later, but is not the text that appears on the button in Beam. You can click the purple triangle to play the sound and make sure it's loaded correctly. Repeat this step for as many sounds as you would like. The next step is to set up the buttons for your soundboard in Beam. To do this, click your name in the upper right corner and then click Dev Lab. Click Create Game and then the blue circle with the plus in it. Title your soundboard whatever you want and then click Create Game. Then click Edit on your new game and from here you can add a description and an image if you would like. Then click Save Game. This is where you'll set up all of your buttons, link them to the sounds in the Soundly Interactive app, and set their price and cooldown. To create a button, click New, then click the arrow on the far right to edit the button. You will want to click both Holding and Frequency. Add a button text, which will be what the viewer sees on the actual button. If you want to add directions, you can do so in the Help Text section and it will display when hovering over the button. Next, set up the cost for your button and a cooldown. You will want to weigh the cost with the sound. I recommend setting longer, more annoying sounds to a higher cost and a longer cooldown to prevent them from being spammed while shorter and less annoying sounds can have a cheaper cost and shorter cooldown. However, that is up to you. Now that you've configured your button, you will need to add it to your board. To do this, click the number button and drag it onto the grid. You can resize the button to whatever size you want by using the grips on the sides and the top and bottom. I suggest a 2x2 two two button, especially if you plan on using all 16 sounds, but that is up to you. Repeat this step for as many buttons as you want, keeping in mind that the sound you set to zero in the app will correspond to button zero in the dev lab. Hey guys, Editing Otter here. I realized while editing this video that this is not correct. Sound one will correspond to button zero and sound two will correspond to button one and so on and so forth. It's a little bit confusing, but I hope that helps and roll film. Now set your report interview to 100 milliseconds. If you want to preview your board, you can do so by toggling on preview controls and see what it looks like. This next bit can be a bit tricky. You will need to click the share version button, which is right next to the red trash can. Then click anyone with version ID and the right code can play your game. Then open up Explorer and go to your app data folder. Then roaming and then beam sound interactive. Open up the version file and input the version and code from the dev lab and click save. This will sync your Soundly interactive app with your beam profile. We now have all of our sounds and buttons set up. The last step is to connect the app to your stream. To do this, go back to the app and click the Settings tab. Enter in the username and password, then enter in the two-factor authentication code you added because you're not an imbecile. Quickly click the Status tab and then Connect. Once it is connected, it will show up in your stream and be fully functional. Huzzah! 
Keep in mind, you will need to do this last step to reconnect the app every time you stream. And that's it. You are now a pro at using the Beam Soundly Interactive app, creating new games in DevLab, and life in general. Now go stream and be awesome. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to help. If you enjoyed this short and to the point tutorial, then click the follow button on my Beam profile at beam.pro slash Gamer. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a phantasmagorical day.